Hi, this is Tony from Atomus. We're here at the Atomus booth at IBC 2016. It's all about 4K 60 HDR for us this year. Earlier in the year, around NAB timing, we announced our Flame series, shipped those. That was our first foray into HDR. We were able to do that because we had a 1500 nit bright panel that was able to show 10 plus stops of dynamic range. No one has been able to do that on on-camera monitors in the past. It's always been about six to seven stops. So this was a huge breakthrough, a great exposure tool to make sure that the log footage that you record on the camera is able to be monitored for the first time as it's going to be produced in a final post-production scene. So we did that back at NAB timing. At IBC, we've evolved our HDR concept into a product perfect for cinema cameras. It's the Shogun Inferno and it ships at the end of this month. It adds in 4K 60p recording, HD 240 frames per second recording over quad SDI terminals on the back. So perfect for those Aries, the high-end Sony, FS series, F55, F5s, Panasonic Vericam, and the Canon C300 Mark II and the C500. This is the model for you. Apart from doing all that HDR and the quad SDI, it'll also do raw recording for those cameras. So those cameras will be able to accept in the raw and either record it as a ProRes, a DNX, or as a Cinema DNG RAW file. In the case of the ARRI, we are able to do it in the .ARI format. And that means for ARRI users that instead of using S by S cards that cost $1,700 for a 256 gig card, you're now using it on an SSD for around $100. So huge media uh, savings that you can get from these high-end cinema cameras, let alone the monitoring advantages you get from using a 10 plus stop Atom HDR engine. So that's what we're doing, Shogun Inferno comes out at the end of September, 1995 Euro, 1995 US. Shogun Flames are still shipping now, that's 1695, and the Ninja Flame at 1295. Outside of the exciting announcement of this shipping, we also announced a few extra things. We're able to accept more HDR functionality. So that HDR functionality we have for onboard monitoring can now play out to larger screens, so large HDR screens in both HDR formats, hybrid log gamma and PQ. And also on the input, on the HDMI and the SDI input, you're able to accept a hybrid log gamma signal as well as a PQ signal. So cameras like Ikigami that do hybrid log gamma, perfect. Perf cameras that, like Arri that do a PQ signal can accept that in as a HDR signal. The other way of looking at it is to take it from an NLE. So you could do a mobile HDR grade. Output from your NLE, take it into the Inferno, turn HDR on, and you're able to do grading using this as a reference for on-the-fly mobile grading. So incredibly flexible tool for cinema filmmakers, and it'll be shipping at the end of the month. For all Atomos users, we've done a partnership with G-Tech. So G-Technology now have taken our Master Caddy system of afford media affordability. You're able to put your own SSD, from any brand, SanDisk, Intel, Angelbird, any of the big guys, Transcend, you're able to put that in and use it across our entire range. That Master Caddy system now slots neatly in with the EV Series Master Reader from G Technology, and that will go into their RAID and their desktop system. So the moment you buy an SSD and put it inside our Caddy system is the last time you'll touch it. It goes into our devices for recording, comes out, goes into the G Technology system as well, and you've got data management all the way through uh, post-production. So two big announcements really have been in the Inferno and the G Technology Partnership. This comes out at the end of September. Some of those announcements like ARRI and Panasonic RAW will be coming out in Q4 of this year. G Technology should be shipping uh, during September as well. So all happening now. If you want to know any more information, head, head across to atomus.com. And until next time, we'll see you later.